So why the long gap? Why there were no videos? I think Prashant got more uh, questions than me about why I'm not uploading videos or uh, why there was uh, absolutely no news from my end after I got my PR. Uh, to be very frank, there are several reasons. So what I thought was, you know, let me just take a break for like a month, but that became one or two months. Uh, so I thought, okay, whenever I'm ready to actually take a video, I'll do that. So that was the first reason. So what I thought was, you know, let me just take a break for like a month, but that became one or two months. Uh, so I thought, okay, whenever I'm ready to actually take a video, I'll do that. So that was the first reason. Mm. So another question, what I wanted to answer is like many people have asked, you know, how how do you find a difference in uh, pre PR life and post PR life? So I also wanted to answer that question. everyone welcome to my vlogs so um, it's been a while since i actually shot a video i know it's like too close but i'm sitting in starbucks and i'm actually trying to take this video before i head to uh head for a bank appointment so i'm done with work uh, it's there's a heat wave in uh, canada overall or saskatchewan you can see me like literally burnt uh, but I thought, you know, that small gap that I have, let me take a video. Uh, so I got myself like a frappuccino and then, okay. So why the long gap? Why there were no videos? I think Prashant got more uh, questions than me about why I'm not uploading videos or uh, why there was uh, absolutely no news from my end after I got my PR. Uh, to be very frank, there are several reasons. Uh, the first, first and foremost reason is that uh, I just wanted to like take a break <laughs> because uh, the kind of stress that I was going through during that PR process, right? It was something uh, that, you know, most of you might go through in case you are actually in the process. So what I thought was, you know, let me just take a break for like a month, but that became one or two months. Uh, so I thought, okay, whenever I'm ready to actually take a video, I'll do that. So that was the first reason mm, because after... We got our PR in April. Until then, from December to April, it was very, very stressful for me. And uh, also work-wise, you know, there's so much of uh, things happening in office. So, um, I didn't want to actually uh, take a video and just do, just create content for the sake of it. So, I thought, okay, let me, let me take a break and then get into uh, what is important. Uh, so, I don't know whether you can hear, it's kind of noisy, there's music, there's people all around. Uh, but then... It's a quick video, okay? So it's only uh, maybe 5 to 10 minutes, hopefully. Um, okay, so that was the first reason. Second reason is uh, I changed into a new job. So, yeah, you know, it happened quite quick. I was thinking um, I might as well change my job next year. But um, I have actually never considered myself lucky, uh, especially with the PR process. Around. Many people say that I'm lucky, but um, I have really worked hard for it, right? But with respect to this job, uh, it happened and, you know, it came through, uh, I don't know how, but thankfully it came through and uh, it was a good offer, a uh, good package and uh, it is in logistics itself. So I thought, okay, why wait until next year, you know, I might as well take it. And my current employer, he was very supportive with the decision, like when I told him, uh, <laughs> he was like, okay, fine, you know, like, if this is the right thing for you to move forward. Which I told him earlier also, when, even before PR, when he asked me what my plan is, I had always told him that if I find something really nice, I will shift. But maybe after a year or so. But since this came through, uh, when I discussed with him, he was also quite open with it. In fact, he also knows, right, most of the people, they shift their jobs after they get their PR. So, uh, it's a good company. It's a Canadian-based company. They have around four to five branches in uh, Canada, like in Toronto, uh, Calgary, uh, they have one in Virginia and one in... Uh, Edmonton. They also have a couple of, uh, I think, sister concerns in US. So overall, um, this I felt it was a good move. It is a bigger company, better package, obviously. So I was thinking, okay, fine, let me move. So that was happening in the month of April, okay? Uh, not April, May. May uh, first week and all was when that was happening. 
then by may mid uh, i think 15th i came to know that you know this uh, i'm happy to take up i got the offer so was behind that then you know the notice period have to train a new person all those kind of things were happening and meanwhile we also found a different house so even before finding a job we wanted to shift from the current house mainly because it was a very small space we couldn't entertain any guests actually i took that accommodation when i was a student uh so i wanted to make sure that you know i have a bigger space uh um, so that you know um, i can actually call friends home and all i could even in the older place but old place but uh, the thing is the space constraint right i don't know how many of you will understand it was more of i can't call it a studio it is a proper apartment with a one bedroom but very very small space so what happened is i had to join my job on june 1st and i also had to shift my house on on the same weekend so um shifted the house during the weekend and monday i had to join the job so you can imagine how much of a rush it was meanwhile i was also training people in the office uh for handover it, it's always a 15 days notice here so that happened and then the first two three weeks of june just went by because i had i st- i'm still under probation with our company for three months i'll be under probation so uh, the first month obviously i have to prove myself uh, i have to prove myself otherwise also but then the first one month i have to like put in my best effort so um, i was trying to learn now so i was in logistics i am actually i, I was into trucking uh, on the carrier side so which is a different ball game now i'm on the broker side so uh, even though yeah. even though i know what the game is all about i have to learn the other side and also uh, the previous company i worked in they only had one kind of equipment where and these people handle all kind of equipment so learning all those things was difficult um, you know obviously uh, and then um, i'm working with canadians now so obviously uh that transition also is different even though i was working in canada i was working with indians right i mean my, the company was owned by indian my colleagues were indians whoever has been following my instagram and all would have seen photos of my of me with my colleagues and always people used to ask are you actually working in canada because there are only indians in my previous company so now i work with canadians so for me also there was a fear okay will they understand my accent or you know will they understand uh, my working style or will i be able to understand what they talk or will i be able to gel with them and those all these kind of things so first two weeks went off like that just you know just breaking the ice and you know also i, I since i shifted so many things i thought that we didn't have many things in the uh, previous place but there were so many things to shift then also set this new place we had to like buy furniture and things like that so first two weeks two to three weeks went like that i know it is july second week So where did the other three four weeks go? I don't know. But then I just wanted to take a chill pill, uh, just enjoy the PR phase, uh, because the last three years has been like a mad run. Even though I kept telling myself I'm not in any rat race, I'm not trying to compete with anybody. Obviously, you're competing with yourself. You are. You have your targets to achieve. You know this. documentation that documentation all these kind of things so after all that i just wanted to take a break so i used to just go to office so my office timings are also very interesting now it's 8 to 4 or 8 to 5 and when your work finishes you can leave so it's a little more relaxed um, from uh, one or two weeks or from last month i also joined gym i don't know how many of you will find the difference i don't think you can see it on the face or anything but then overall i think i've toned down a little bit uh so i want to actually uh, put this this particular year i'm trying to concentrate more on myself um whether it be travel or solo trips or you know like uh, meeting friends or uh, taking care of my body or you know uh, taking care of myself so i'm going to plan and do that uh, obviously um, even after all this if you ask me you know there's one part of me that is like uh kind of sad or you know depressed i think like i don't know why i'm telling you guys about it but still <laughs> it just came out um i don't know like so maybe it's like a midlife crisis i've already crossed 40 so maybe that is what it's what is happening um, so i'm also trying to figure things out and all those things but there were so many questions from a lot of subscribers on instagram even in youtube people had messaged us and whoever in whoever is in rajana and whoever keeps meeting my husband they kept asking you know why is mali not putting any videos it's not that it's in high demand it's i i understand that but just that this the fact that you know why why am i not putting it because soon after pr there was no videos i had a lot of plans i was planning to put videos on sinp and various other things but it just didn't work 
because I bought it up right. It's as simple as that. I don't have any other explanation for it. Uh, then Prashant is also transitioning into a new job uh, by this month, and he'll join a new job, so that is happening. Um, and then uh, we are also going to India in September. Uh, by September mid, we'll go, and by October we'll come back. So my previous plan was, since I was not shifting a job, since I had no plans to shift the job, my plan was that you know I will go for two months, spend time there, and come back. But what happened is. Um, plans changed, right? So I had to like cut short my two months vacation to one month vacation, and finally I have uh, booked my tickets for September mid till October mid. So I have I, we have been planning that we have been booking hotels, we have been coordinating with our friends. Why the meet? I hope all these things things work out. I don't want to jinx it. Fingers crossed. Uh, I don't want to get too over excited. Also. I'm going to India after three years, so you can imagine. Uh, obviously, a lot of things have changed. Um, I wanted to go back to my parents, both father and mother. Uh, that was my plan when I thought of when I was planning my Canada trip. But when I'm going back, it's only my mom because my dad passed away just before I was leaving to Canada. Then I was hoping to meet my dog or my pet, uh, but he's also not there. He passed away like a couple of months ago. So I'm going to a lot of losses, but at the same time, I'm very happy to meet whoever is there and who, uh, also meet all my friends and everybody there. Mm. So another question, what I wanted to answer is like many people have asked, you know, how how do you find a difference in uh, pre PR life and post PR life? So I also wanted to answer that question. To be very frank, there's a lot of difference. It's peace of mind. First thing is that you know, like you're not you're not worried about anything, or you know, you're more relaxed. In fact, a lot of people who have been seeing my Instagram feed or my WhatsApp statuses, they've been saying you you seem a little more relaxed. Uh, obviously, I'm a little more relaxed because of this reason. Uh, also, because the reason I've changed my job, that is a little more. I can't say relaxed. It's the job is the same, the tension is the same, but um, overall, you know, it's a little more. Um, I'm not under pressure for anything, right? So overall, it's a little more eased out. Uh, so. Um, then timing. I finish uh, work early, so I have time to go to the gym to work out. Uh, then I have time to like you know just come and sit like this and uh, talk to you people. But I haven't been doing that. Mm, so there's a lot of difference pre and post PR. I know that there has been a lot of changes in the PR system. Like S I N P, they've stopped a lot of things. Uh, most of the provinces have stopped uh, P N Ps. Uh, various categories in PNPs, LMI. There's a lot of difference. Obviously, it's all because of these frauds and all these things that has been happening. So I'm one way very very happy that these changes are happening. Uh, it, I'm not saying this because I got PR. Okay, I'm not taken any wrong route and got this PR. So I needn't be like uh, feeling uh, bad that okay they have stopped it. Frankly speaking, it's a good thing. So whoever is serious, let them come here and study, or you know, let them let them get more opportunities. Mm. And uh, yeah, so overall, uh, I feel that if you're still serious about migrating and coming to Canada, it's still a good place to come. Um, I know a lot of people have gone back. A lot of people are still doubtful whether to come. A lot of people who came, who have already come here, are doubtful whether they should go back. It's all your personal decision. Like it's not for me to comment. I'm very happy here. I would I would always encourage people to come here if you're willing to struggle or you know that first one year or two years. Even people who came here on PR, they have their own different struggle. You know, it's not that only students have struggle. Even people who have come here on PR have their own struggle. So. If you're ready for all that, and if you want a better life, life is much better here. I can. I, I mean, I'm telling you from my experience. I don't know um, how it will be for you guys. Some people will still crib about things are not happening for them, and that is not. Let's take the negativity out. Let's only think about positive things. Um, so, life of the PR is good. At least for me, it has been good so far. Uh, whether you call it lucky, I, I mean, I, I get a little annoyed when people say, "Oh, you're so lucky, you got your PR fast." I didn't get my PR fast. I waited for three years, and then I put got my job approval letter, and then I put it for PR, and then it took seven, eight months to get the federal. So I don't know why people think it was very easy for me just by seeing one of my video where I'm saying, "Oh, I got my PR." Don't think it came easy. It didn't come easy for me, right? Uh, so when people call me uh, lucky in with respect to PR or with respect to how fast I got it or like people think I got it fast, but whoever followed my journey continuously know how it was. 
uh, yeah, obviously there has been some plus and minus here and there. So I wouldn't say it has been like very difficult or very easy. It has been in between. And um, uh, yeah, guys. So that's all. I will upload more videos hopefully soon. Uh, I have also uh, we went for a picnic. Uh, July first was uh, Canada Day, so that weekend we have, we have went out with a couple of our friends, basically our subscribers. So that video will come up next week, I guess. Mm, and then S I N P. I know a lot of people have asked me about non-express entry, how to fill the application. I don't know how to like record the screen. I'm still figuring it out, and you know also how to explain it because I have kind of forgotten how to do it. But I will do it. Um, and so guys. That's all for now. I have an appointment at uh, 5:30 in CIBC. I'm gonna fight with them for some benefits and upgrades and all. So let's see how that goes. So uh, I hope you guys are doing fine. I'm sorry about the delay. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because I got a good break. It was good, and I'm ready to come back to YouTube life. Uh, so that's all, guys. Bye bye. Take care.